Markets are sound asleep, waiting for the big summit. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. And of course, the markets are sound asleep as they wait to see what comes out about six hours from now from uh, Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un from North Korea. The big summit is on and markets couldn't have been quieter. They couldn't have been duller. However, they rallied again, as we continue to say, there's no reason to sell here. There's no reason to get involved. It's very quiet. Dull markets tend to rally. And that's what we saw today. The market continued higher. Uh, at one point, we were down. We opened lower last night, Sunday night, and then been rallying ever since. And a relatively positive day in the marketplace. The Russell's up again. The Nasdaq's up again. So basically, across the board, we're seeing gains. At the end of the day, there's no reason to get involved here. We've got the Fed two-day meeting starting tomorrow and Wednesday, the ECB. And until we see some volatility and until we see some action, there's really nothing to do in here. You have to sit back sometimes and wait patiently for the market opportunity to come your way. And right now, it is not coming our way. It is just sitting there and grinding at, at ridiculously low levels. If you watch the grain markets today, the volume was almost non-existent. It was almost like they were closed. They got hammered, but they, there was no volume. So again, the sellers had their way and pushed down. And we saw the meats break down again today too, which we actually wrote about over the weekend that we expected a little bit of selling in the, in the, in the meats. In the meantime, gold is flat as a pancake. It's, it's churning on both sides and unchanged. I think it breaks out to the upside when it does break. Oil was under heavy pressure, rallied all the way back and spiked up and, and closed around the $66 level. And again, we're sellers of oil. We don't, we don't see it. I mean, certainly at 67, I'd be a, a seller of some more. I think oil continues to work its way lower. Uh, the VIX, interesting, VIX was basically flat. The VXX was down quite a bit. That's why we don't typically like to trade that product. We use it occasionally, but not a great product in, in our opinion. Bonds down again, dollar up again. So again, our black swan event still remains a strong dollar with rising interest rates. And I think we'll get a clearer picture of that this week as we go through. But really, you can just see it. Everybody is kind of waiting to see what happens with the, the, the summit here. And again, I don't know that anything bad can come out of it, but I think all the good is priced into the market. I don't think that the market will react any more from where it's at right now. Now it could, but I think this has got, there's a lot of theories of what's going to happen here. So we'll see how that plays out with the theories, but we're going to sit back and still remain neutral, not selling, looking for opportunities to buy right now, as it looks like we're going to get and try to test these highs in the general markets. So Bitcoin had a, another uh, hack over the weekend and somewhere. And of course, that got clobbered. But again, I think that Bitcoin, I think the cryptocurrency world is a great opportunity to buy in here somewhere. Uh, you know, I think you're going to wait to stop to see this heavy selling. But at some point, as soon as it starts to turn, I think that's a great spot to jump in. Uh, th this is natural, normal movement for a market, no matter what's going on. The hack is the excuse, but the reaction will be, and we think that we will see buyers step in here. There's a lot of good things happening in the space, so we're looking for buyers to step in here. In the meantime, let's see what happens with the summit. Let's watch. There might even be some trading tonight. If you're a futures trader, you might want to watch. I'm not saying there will be, but there's a, the possibility exists that there could be because there could be a lot of comments coming out that create some action. But in the meantime, this is Bubba's Daily Update. Todd Bubba Horwitz. And of course, don't forget our high school investing program, highschoolinvesting.com. If you'd like to help us out, go to Patreon, P A T R E O N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. And then don't forget to catch the Bubba Show every day from 4 to 5 Eastern at LibertyTalk.fm. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you here tomorrow. From I'll be in New York, but have a great day. We'll update you tomorrow. Bubba's Daily Update. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much.